Hi, my name is Neil Joshan Pillay, and I'm bringing you this presentation on uh, migrating a MySQL database. Um, and of course, my name is Neil Joshan Pillay. Uh, so the tools I'm going to be using are MySQL Workbench, which is a pretty popular tool used for interacting with MySQL databases and managing them, and a little bit of me. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is start up MySQL Workbench. And when you start up MySQL Workbench, you'll be brought to this page. Um, what you want to do is go to the top, File Menu, Databases, and to Migration Wizard. So after going to Migration Wizard, this page will pop up. It'll say, Welcome to MySQL Workbench Migration Wizard. This wizard will assist you in migrating the database and then I'm going to go to start migration. So now I'm going to have to put in my host name, which is um, I have to find my host name of the database that I'm going to be migrating. In this case, I'm migrating from a GoDaddy uh, um, database. So uh, my SQL database so I have my host name already pre uh, um, stored in my SQL workbench however if you don't you can go to uh, your GoDaddy page and to your database and you'll be able to find it there so let's do that actually no this is not about uh, uh, how to use GoDaddy it's rather about how to perform a migration so I put the host name of my source database and I'm going to put in my username, which is jbank, I believe. Was it? I'm going to verify that right now. Yes, user jbank. And I'm going to put in my password for the database. Then I will test my connection. It said connection succeeded. So I have my source uh, database information all set up. And now for my destination, which is going to be on my local drive, since I'm using WAMP, as it's running right there. And I'm going to, uh, all the user information is already set up properly, so I'll test the connection. Connection is successful. Okay, and then I'll go to next. And I will, it's fetched all my schema list and stuff, and then I'll go to next. I will select the schema I want to migrate, which is JBank. And I will go to next. I'll reverse engineer all my schema properties. Then I say here, I'm migrating tables. I selected all the tables I want to migrate. And I also want to migrate my routines, which are my stored proxy and user defined functions. I've only defined four so far. Uh, and then I will go to next. And next review and edit oh no migration problem zero warning so it says it's succeeded properly um, so now I have to uh, select the target creation uh, objects I'm going to override everything if they already exist go to next oh as you can see here there's also a create a SQL script file so rather than uh, automatically migrating it, you could just create a script file that will you could run on your target server and it'll create everything for you. However, I'm just going to connect to my database directly. So I'm going to create the schema on target RDBMS. Next. Um, so it says I already have a JBank schema. I want it to be dropped and recreated. So I'm going to go yes. Next. So I have no errors. So I'm going to go to next. Next root. Okay. So now it's running. Copying the data.
next and it successfully did everything so now I go to finish I'm gonna look at my local database and let's see tables so, and everything is right there and that's how you perform a successful database migration star from Okay, and have all the information is there. And that is a successful database migration using MySQL Workbench. I hope you learned something from this or got some uh, guidelines. It was a bit vague, but it'll get the job done. Uh, and thank you. Goodbye.